This tutorial is a continuation from the previous video. We will be creating this effect in this tutorial. So this time we are going to use masking tools to create the mask. I still have the previous paint action sequence from the last video up that we did for the previous video. Now I'm just going to manually play back each of the first three steps by clicking on this first keyframe for each step. Then I'm going to delete this last vectorizer step that we used for the mask in the last video. But since we will now be making our mask with a selection tool, we do not need this step. So I will highlight it and then press delete. Before I get started doing any masking, I will check to make sure mask playback is enabled in the paint action sequence editor. It is very important that this is on or your masking will not play back when you play the paint action sequence. So now this time I want a colored background, so I'm going to use the interactive selection tools to select the background of the dancing girl video. I will switch to selection mode and choose source, which will use the source image to make the selection, then global color, and I will also use the soft edge. Now I will mouse down in the canvas and select the background areas. Next I will choose the color I want in the background. Then I will erase the selection with the source color. Now I will add some texture to the background from the MSG Canvas and Texture presets. I will choose this linen MSG preset, and then making sure masking is turned on, I will press action to add this step to the paint action sequence. Now I will turn off masking and choose a vectorizer sketch effect to create an outline. The last thing I will do is keyframe a couple of different background color changes. First I am going to move the paint action sequence window so that I can see the keyframes easier. Next make sure the number of frames in your timeline match your source video. Now turn off recording in the paint action sequence window so that we will not add extra steps since we are now only making keyframing changes. Then turn on the mask. Notice that the mask still has my original selection so I do not need to touch this. Now I will choose the new color I want for the background from the color picker and then option click for Mac, that's an alt click on Windows, on the keyframe where I want the color to change. This will create a smooth color transition between the first orange color and the new color. I will do this process one more time. So now I just noticed that my first keyframe was in the wrong step, but no worries, I just need the command click on Mac, that's a control click on Windows, and then click on the keyframe to remove it. Then I need to choose the blue color again in the color picker, and then option click on a Mac, which is alt click on Windows where I want to add the new keyframe. Now I am ready to output this movie. So I choose Action, Process with Paint Action Sequence, Source to Movie. And here is the movie again. The background movie and the Paint Action Sequence presets for these Traveling Mat training videos will be attached with this post for you to download. In the next video I will show you how to composite more than one movie into your Traveling Travel Mat.